Hey there, Internet. Sorry, it's just me again this week. So if you're here for Allie, she is currently at the store really quick and I'm making a video really quick because it's already Saturday and I'm late a day. And don't worry, I'm not shifting my release schedule to Saturdays, even though the past two weeks have already been on Saturdays and I skipped the week before that. And it's just all going crazy because of the holidays. Don't worry, we're going to get back to normal with the new year. Although I suppose the fact that the first video of the new year coming out on a non-regular day is not a particularly good sign that I'm off to a great start. However, it would appear that my talking fast motors are still in full effect, so yeah. One thing you could say that I am somewhat sort of known for in my life is encouraging people to do things different than all of the rest of the world would encourage them to do. That makes me sound really pretentious. How can I say that differently? I guess I like to remind people that there's more than one way of looking at all the different things in the world. Some people would say that this makes me a contrarian. Some people, meaning my sister, maybe I'm a little bit. I was especially one when I was a kid, but I think I've outgrown that. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I like to look at things from a different perspective. I mean, the whole idea behind this channel was originally to look inside the box rather than outside the box. That terrified me. There she is. Look, it's her. Yay. Anyway, today I would like to take another phrase that everyone has heard a million times, which is to try new things and turn that on its head and encourage you all to try old things. Because I realized that so often we're focused on a continually getting to the next thing and expanding our horizons and exploring all sorts of things we've never tried before that we forget to look back and either revisit things that we know we liked in the past or try something that we tried once and didn't like and try it again and see if we think about it any differently because if there's one thing I know it's that I'm a very very different person now than I was say like 12 years ago so back then I tried tomatoes and I hated them and then eventually I stopped saying oh I've tried those before and I don't like them and said I'll try them again I guess and now I eat them this is just one very very specific example or like a few days ago for New Year's we were having Rubens and Allie was like I don't particularly like sauerkraut and I was like maybe you should try it again and she did and she actually kind of liked it I realized that both of these examples have to do with food sometimes I feel like most things in my life have to do with food. I guess what I'm trying to say is that the world is really full of really, really cool things, and if you only try everything once, you're probably not giving it all its fair chance. And if you forget about things that you used to like and just are constantly expanding your horizons with things like pho or like pad thai, again, it's all about food right now. Just take this as a, as a microcosm and expand it. I might be hungry. What was I saying? Oh yeah. If you're only ever expanding your horizons, you're gonna leave behind a whole lot of things that you used to love and you might have forgotten just how much you love them until you go back, turn around, try them, and nostalgia is a powerful tool, plus not even nostalgia it has to be the case. That sentence made no sense. I don't like it, but I'm gonna leave it. I was trying to say you don't have to rely on nostalgia because a lot of things are good for their own sake and you should go back and try them again. Try old things, again, that's what I'm trying to say. Repetition is basically what these videos are most of the time. So if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go put this whole dealio into practice because I have tried ice skating once. It did not go so great. That is a long story, but tonight I'm gonna go try it again and hopefully I won't actually cry this time. Not like I cried last time. Yeah. Deuces. Mm -hmm.